Hello and welcome to the uh, next tutorial from the Moyang Minecraft game test module. Today we are gonna make a damage indicator thingy. That means if you hit an entity, there will appear like how much damage you did. And for that we need the uh, event dot entity hurt event. If you don't want to call it yourself, you can always just download it. In the description, we need to attach a function. We can just say const unknow damage is equal to damage uh, event damage entity is equal to hurt entity. No, that's not how you do it. Anyways, um, now we need to uh, summon a entity that we want to use as a damage indicator. And In, uh, for this, I just made a random entity. It has to have the uh, timer component with a time of two, a time down event. And this time down event, uh, you're gonna just add a component group which has uh, instant despawn, so after two seconds this entity will despawn. <clears throat> then I set the collision box to zero, and I made a uh, and, and I made it nameable because we're gonna use the name text here. Then I choose uh, the runtime ident identifier for a snowball because snowballs don't have any collision, so you can't hit them with your sword or something. And you also need a, a client entity file. I'm um, if you if you don't have a client entity file, you can't have a name tag for entity. So you're gonna have that. It doesn't matter what is in here. It just has to, yeah, work. Now we can summon the entity with const entity is equal to wall dot get dimension. Need the overworld. Overworld, not get entity. We need summon. No, not summon. Spawn. Sorry, spawn. Spawn entity. Then we need the um, or entity identifier. You can just look it up. In this case, it's test damage. So test damage. And what we also need is the hurt entity dot location and now we need to set the um, entity's name tag entity dot name tag to damage we can also of course like make color uh, make it colorful or something I don't know now if we go into the world Well, it will say that the geometry isn't found because I just used a uh, random geometry that doesn't actually exist to, uh, well, have the entity have no geometry. But you can always replace it with your own geometry that does nothing. Uh, fail to call function spawn entity. Oh yes, it's not damage, it's damage indicator. I make those mistakes a lot. So it will still fail the arrow, but if I damage the entity. Okay, maybe now, yes, yes, you can see that the damage will be shown. Yes. So we can, I don't know, use a sword. It will show more damage. It will not show um, damage for dead entities, I just noticed. But um, I will make a tutorial on that too because this is like the easy option, but there's a hard option where you, uh, you make your own damage system. And I'm gonna be making a tutorial on the uh, on damage uh, on, on a yeah 
on their own damage system um, soon. So if you want to see that, please subscribe and I hope you liked the video and bye.